Hi guys, welcome to Lost Mount VFX channel. So today we will learn how to create a 3D environment forest within a little bit of time and using new PCG 5.2 version. First of all, we will uh, create our base. So we will go to landscape and we will create one landscape just take one and one if you want to create a bigger one then you can change the values i want to show you so i will take only one one so let's create the landscape so we created the landscape and go to go back to selection again now we have to uh, keep that floor texture so select this landscape and select this texture use this so if you didn't switch on that pcg framework from your plugin so just go to edit and go to plugins and just try it here to see. so this procedural framework you need to switch on which i already did so if you doing for first time uh, software will ask to restart the software so just restart it and it will automatically switch on from your next project and switch up there content and create one pcg graph name it as class 2 so we created this it's okay for me if you want to increase it increase yes now it's done so now we have to switch on means we have to go inside the pcg graph now it's already there input and output so how to will do first yes, here. just bring it down you can see one landscape options so drag it and we have to go sampler surface sampler so here surface sampler is there now we have to just select it what basically it will do, it will basically do uh, your scatterings and how much uh, things you want to spawn. So this will work here, which I will show you later. Now, if you switch on, means just select it and press D. You can see that points are, these points are the spawning points. So, and you can also able to see they all are in same size, same direction and no randomness is available. So if you put anything, it will all look like same. So for that, we have to create again transform points. Transform point. Now keep it here. This is for your scatter. So, if you run uh, maximum rotation, is 360.707. Okay. Now, if you switch this table and select this transform point and put T, now you can see all the things are in randomness. All points are in random, so it's fine. You can go back to the graph and for spawner, we have to start it. Yes. So, we have to go to spawner, or either if you want to write it here, write it. I'm showing you. So, starting this point is here. Click it and bring on the graph. So, what you, you will do with the statics in this point, you can put your static message like grass anything you want if you want to spawn rocks you can put it if you want to spawn trees you can put it so i'll show you now let's connect with this or you can connect later also i'm not sure of that okay so let's 
so now you have to take so we will grow first our grass so select this and now we will make it and go to our 3d plants grass clan so these are the grass which i want to use it so then go to graph select it and put it on array so now so we already selected this grass. So this grass is first one. Now bring it here. Now we have to show this keyword. Press D again. Now you can be able to see very little grass is there. Because what happened? I will show you why it's giving this much. Now we have go here and you go to the surface sample so these are the points from x y z so uh, this is the basically gap between those things those grasses mess now we have to go to the just put it on yeah so you can put it on it's okay now increase the mess you can put it like five Fine for me now. Now you can see now it's coming. If you want to grow more, so just <laughs> change it to eight. Now you can see it looks natural and it's fine. Now for forest type of ground, here we have we can put separate grasses also so you have to add another array now go to set first one now select another grass type and just you put it here now you can see the two separate I mean, separate kind of grasses is available one is sponge and one is little bit thinner now, if you again want to increase the sampling, just sorry, settings, you can go, you can make it 50. So, this problem is you can see this is the uh, cull distance. So, to do one thing, just minimize it. Foliage LOTD LOD distance scale. So put it five. So you can we already created our grass. So now we have to create a little bit uh, one small kind of uh, flowers or some blossoms are there. So you can go to violet wood store like that and you can select one this one and just copy these three notes and copy and paste it here because we don't want to interact with all the things in one way we don't want that because it will create a space issue because if i'm putting all the things are here they will search in space means this grass will not grow properly because they will provide the gaps for this Methods. So better we will go do it here separately. So go again to surface and uh, sorry static mesh spawner and just delete this one, delete this one. You can do the reset also. Motion, I deleted it. Now you can select. I already selected this one or this one. I selected it and here now you can see small gaps failing out so now it's blending properly right okay now if you want to increase this one or grass one so you go to this one and just do increase bit of more grasses yeah you can see that so to do 
really interesting. Let's see. Now, if you want a um, stone kind of thing or a, a broken branches or broken roots, so now I can copy and paste it here. So for this, we have to reset again because the branches will grow this much with this much density. It will not work like that. So for 100, make this also 0 0.1 because I need only little bit, just two to three is enough for me. So connect this one. Just Forest plan. This is a broken stump or large kind. Two kind things. So we will put both of them. Just select this one and first we will import it. First. Now you can see that so many root stumps are available here. So I don't want that much. So now go again to the surface control and make it to 0 0.01. So you can see in this much of land you can get this one or otherwise if you want take more you just see one or two maximum. Yeah. Total two or three. So now, if you put another model, just make a random array. Now, this also create this. Or if you want separately for this also, you can copy and paste. I'm putting it in one. So just check it. Yep. Only three because it's a huge model. So this is enough. This is enough. Or otherwise, you will, if you want to put in manually, that also possible. You can disable it from it from here. Now it's gone, and you have to put map. Okay. Now we already created our base level class F. Now we can put some small plants here. Copy, paste it again. Looks good also, and easy to connect. Now you have to go here again. Okay, now change it to default, and I want little density. We don't have. See, like repeating, so you have to go here and make it 50. And this also 50. This is enough. Minimize it. Go to the static spawner. So, already copied from there. So, you have to sorry, disable it. You remove the, all the messes from this one. It's showing still now. Just it will take time and it will go used. If I replace with another model, so we'll go with that. This one, this kind of uh, small trees are available here. Now you have to import again in that graph. Import it. Just so yeah. instead of that, these small plants. If you want to increase the density, just go ahead and make it 3. Enough here. So it's good. So our base ground is getting ready step by step. So now it's done. Okay. Minimize it and go to add, add pixel content. 
settings or so just go i already downloaded from quick service so just go down on this if you want the forms this font also work fine or otherwise you That is the so you can use. So just import it. I already got the best quality. So just bring it to so here. Now you have this one. If you want this one also, this one also fine. Now this quality is available. Each form. Now we have to go again to our graph. Now go to spawner. This one is already there. Now you have to select which font you want. If you want a little bit medium kind of font, so you have to select this one and just import it here. Let's see the changes. Yeah, the fonts are available. If you want uh, another font instead of so uh, this it is we have another little bit bigger font so use this one it's better we make it yeah fonts are here you can see it looks good also trailing in line and if you want to increase the grass size or any size, just go down, transform point and maximum scale if you want to put now just put it 1.2 or 3. It will be fine for it. Yeah, it will be fine. This looks good also. Right? Okay. Now we can move to trees. Which I already brought uh, European beach trees. Now, for that, again, we have to copy paste it here. You can rename it also when you can put packs on this one. This is the grass one, this is the small little ferns or little plants you can name it here. so just we have to go static next corner and we have to reset it because we don't need this one now we have to bring the big trees so yep sorry guys i just selected okay this much i don't need so we have to select Sampler, reset it to one, and reset to this also. So now we can put here 120, 120 because we have to access to the other trees also. So we don't put the same tree too much. So we can put it, or otherwise we can here zero. See, it's reduced. So this is one type of tree. Now we can bring under all the sunlight set. Now we can reduce and make it. So it's a tall tree, 
so better you can use because the top portion is totally covered so you can reduce the density also here zero reducing so this one is done now we can use the normal tree if you want let select it copy paste it again change this one little bit sampler so make it from 50 50 50 is fine and now let use because trees are taking too much time to load so let us connect it from here and come to now so the static from this one we will use under small tree. Now you can see it will 
cover the ground portions of this forest area because some portion little bit um, small sets are growing so it's growing out a little so just we will use this one this is better for us okay we just select it and just go Select this one and just yes. So instead of that, you can select this one. So you can see it looks a little bit forest type of thing. I know so many things we need to do, but this is a good looking forest, a small good looking forest. So lights also visible, the sunlight also coming inside through the branches and all. So you can edit, you can make small. So this is enough for a creative bulb because um, if we create one another, we don't need to cover all the area. So back side we will put some other things like to cover up that area. So we will cover up with big trees and all. So for that. We have to copy this PCG and again put it sideways and put instead of these trees, we can use that trees also. Okay, sorry guys, and so now okay, you can see we can create a forest within some few minutes. It's the right so okay. Now it looks fine and like this with this process or you can go through with other things and check with your and explore more things to do so this is the process simple process to create a forest and all so you can use it now if you want to the camera setting and all so you have you have, we have to show it in other video thank you guys bye and have a good day and please this is my first uh, tutorial video so if i did anything wrong please please don't mind and if you like the work or if you like the small tricks which i shown you please like uh, share and subscribe with your friends and your family members thank you